The final day of the BNP Paribas Open 2017 saw Swiss numbers one and two Stan Wawrinka and Roger Federer play out the championship match. A 23rd meeting for the pair who can't get enough of playing one another. The last time these compatriots met in a final was in Monte Carlo three years ago, one of Wawrinka's few wins against Federer. It was the more successful Swiss though making an early statement of intent. That has been the money shot all year. Nice and smooth to kick things off here. Knowing how strong Federer had been all tournament on serve, the third seed would be keen to keep pace. That is exhibit A right there. That's a very solid point though. And Stan managed that up until the business end of the opener, but when serving to stay in the set, the ninth seed was forcing the issue. Oh, he got the ball up high, didn't he? And just allowed him to be attacking. The point of the set so far brings it to a conclusion. To keep the match from running away from him, Vavrinka was looking to quickly put the first set behind him. He's just starting to light the fires in this game. Long it is, and for the first time this week, it's Federer. The drop serve. With the US Open champion a break up, it was very much match on, but thanks to some intense pressure, Federer wasn't behind for long. Well, it's not just the offense, is it? It's the defense as well. I mean, it's this lunge backhand slice right here. I mean, he's way downtown when he makes that shot so quick then to get onto the front foot. The set then continued on serve, and with Federer just a game away from the title, it was very much time for the world number three to turn up the heat. Brilliant. Oh. At the business end of the set, Federer didn't want to be the man to blink first. I mean, the gasps from the crowd all you tell you really all you need to know about the quality of the volley. I mean, the ball was moving almost east-west there. I mean, that's insane. <laughs> A few wayward ground strokes from Vavrinka in game 12 meant Federer could be in with a chance of the match without the need for a tiebreak. Just get the sense today that he's been forced perhaps to play slightly out of his comfort zone, don't you? Makes it five in Indian Wells. The Swiss man continues his remarkable start to 2017. Federer claims a 25th Masters 1000 title of his glorious career. What a dream start this is. I can't believe it still that it's really happening. And I think that was also my reaction after match point was over. I was like, oh my God, look, I got an opening. Just put it in there and it's all over and it was all over. And it, it felt so good, you know, and then the crowds are standing and uh, it's, it's an incredible start to the year. I can't believe it. I mean, last year I didn't win any titles. It was such a difficult year and I'm still only in my comeback and I'm able to play such great tennis. It's such a, it's such a treat. So a second title of the Federer Renaissance comeback season means the Swiss maestro's career tally has now reached 90. The fairy tale start to 2017 shows no signs of being cut short anytime soon.